one Jorno. Como estás? Muy bien, gracias. Ministry of Dice. Here we are. Gameplay vid. Woo! Woohoo! Yeah. So, um, yeah. Here we That's are. That's an interesting team you've got there. Shall I, yes, shall I switch the camera over to me and talk about the interesting team that I have? Yes, let's talk about the very beige looking people you have in front of you. Very beige looking people. They are quite beige, aren't they? Um, so, I have been looking at the Troubling Water Deep set and. I was curious about experience, but one of the reasons why I've not played experience a great deal in the past is because you can't always guarantee that your opponent is going to have monsters, such as in this situation where it appears you're playing your little X-Men experiment team. It is. However, there are ways and means of getting experience tokens on your uh, on your guys now that don't need you to kill monsters. So I've got uh, Vajra and Dernan yeah. here. Uh, Vadra has Spark, which is when you roll a uh, burst face. Although I need to check the keyword. I think it might be once per turn, actually. Um, but, yeah, so when I roll a, a burst face on a dice, I get to add an experience token to an adventurer. And Dernan here, uh, while he's active, he gives them an experience token at the point at which they're fielded. So Oof. now I don't have to rely on my opponent to bring monsters. I've got ways of putting experience tokens on them without. Certainly don't want a Dern and Vajra a combo. Nope, you certainly don't. I've got Yawning Portal and Hitch for um, basically buying stuff. They're my, my kind of rampy purchasey things. Yawning Portal does its thing that most people would be aware of. Gives you the discount for fielded characters and makes stuff field for free. And Hitch, uh, while he's active, adventurers cost one less to purchase and field. He's also an adventurer, incidentally. Uh, I've got Jopper here. He's an adventurer. See the theme? He prevents all damage to himself while he's blocking. Human Warlock, Adventurer. This is with Spark again. Deal one damage to target opponent. Uh, Dernan I've talked about. I've then got Jamila, or uh, Jamelia, as you prefer to call her. She's got Overcrush, so I definitely want to make her big. Uh, and then I've got Taslin Yafira. She's got experience, and she gets plus one, plus one for each active adventurer you control, which all bar Dernan my characters are. I've then got Shield. Your character dice cannot be targeted by opposing global abilities or action dice until the beginning of your next turn. So, you know, there's plenty of globals and action dice that I might target my guys. But then if it's on double burst, I get to prep a dice too. And then I've got Shocking Grasp here. Deal one damage to target character die. If that character is KO'd by this damage, you may put this die in your prep area. So those two basic actions, in addition to Yawning Portal, are going to be my route to the uh, burst faces for the spark. So, yeah, just um, experimenting with adventurers. Cool. I'll uh, flick over to you, shall I? Yeah, flick over to me. So I played this on the last video. You did? Three cost. Uh, when fielded, deal two damage to target character die or opponent. Because it became very obvious that to use Rachel Summers, I needed to knock out a X-Man character. And luckily, you had Nehelela. Ne ne uh, <laughs> Neil, you heard Neil uh, and um, <laughs> that did the job for me but I needed something of my own uh, the rest of the team is very much the same so I've got Power Almighty and whoever assemble uh, we've got Hope Summers not the Hope Summers Pluripotent Protractia uh, but uh, all of us uh, she basically when fielded I can draw a die for each of my different X-Men characters place any X-Men characters drawn in the prep area and all the rest in the use pile Kitty Pride another bit of bag manipulation that worked well when fielded draw a die if it's an X-Men character roll it and place it in your reserve pool otherwise place it in your use pile uh, Emma Frost a bit of protection in case there's more than one uh, of a character coming my way or block him Iceman didn't use it the last time so I might have a go with it this time um, uh, when he damages a character die, that character cannot attack or block during the following turn. Deadpool, when blocked, he gets plus three attack and overcrush, and uh, pay fist to deal two damage to target blocking character dies is global. Cyclops for the discount and buff to X Men characters, and Rachel Summers because she explodes and kills everyone uh, if a X Men is KO'd. So punch one of my mates, and I will go. Proper mental is the subtitle of that card. <laughs> that's uh, that's fair, yeah. 
quite thematic. I quite like it. That Rachel Summers, I don't know the character at all, but I'm guessing she's a bit of a nutter and likes her friends. Uh, and Iceman, the way that he kind of freezes someone that uh, tries to hit him or he hits, uh, is also pretty cool. So I'm enjoying it. I don't know. You know, it's just fun. Yeah. Yeah. That's. Uh, I'm just going for something a bit casual, see if these uh, experienced guys have got any legs on them. All right. Let's All right. roll off. Let's roll off. Yeah. I have still reverted back to my uh, Nationals winning psychic dice. I have one. I have two and a question mark. Ooh, check you out. Okay. I'll go first this time. Okie doke. Let's see how we go. Ooh, well, that seems simple enough. Let's put that psychic out. Spend the two for the hope. Very good. Oh, do the camera. I'll just re-roll that Ooh. one. So. Proper cock, that one was. Yeah. Um, I'll re-roll these two. Oh, backfire. Um, okay, I'll field the sidekick and I'll pay three for a hitch. Cool beans. This lack of um, lack of prepping and stuff's disruptive, isn't it? It is. Um... Do you know what? Let's bring that back. Spend that lot for Cyclops. Bring that back with what? Oh, tits, you haven't got that thing, have you? <laughs> From the one that you had our last game. <laughs> the Intellect Devourer. Yeah. Yeah, no Intellect Devourer this time, okay. dude. I won't do that, but I'll spend four instead on a Power Almighty. There you go. <laughs> so. We only played one game, and it, how can it become muscle memory so quick? <laughs> <laughs> you know, quick reactions, quick thinking. Always one step behind, you know what they say. I do. I'll re-roll all that. Oh, jeez. Um, oh, darn it. I need one more energy to buy my Durnum, but I did not get it, so no, I cannot. Seer, searing insight there from so let's field that sidekick and let's go for um oh, i could have done with a bolt for yawning portal as well actually oh shoulda woulda could it i don't want another hitch i don't think so it's you and you and what oh joffa let's have a joffa get your joffa out yep uh, See, I will. You've, you've put your jopper next to your Vajra. <laughs> <laughs> Lowest denominator. Okay, <laughs> over to you. Well, my bag is empty, so I'll fill it up. And then that's two. And that's two. Ooh, just the sidekicks today. Man. Oof. Okay. Not the Ice Man, just a Ice Man. Well, as you say, he could be amazing and just be have been neglected all this time. Oh. Yeah, so as described in my last video, I put some of the X Men character characters where there are some stronger versions of the card. So these versions we've never really seen or talked about or read, because why bother? Uh, and we're going to see if they're any good. Aye, Unbelievable. Aye, aye. What you've witnessed there is Chris rolling both characters on their character face. It could be the first time in all of our videos we've ever recorded <laughs> that has actually happened. So enjoy this moment, folks. There we go. I'll feel both of those. Oh, Elf Thief. Nice. It does look like Elf Thief, doesn't it? Uh, so that's Hitch. He's the one who's letting me buy my adventurers now for one less and field them for one less, but I can't do a lot with a single question mark. Cool. A bit like my Cyclops. I need two energy cheaper. Mm. Right. All right. Uh, switch the camera. One, two, three. Four. Oh. 
So when hopes and others fill the draw die from each of your different draw die for each different So that would be one or go to use oh that's not too bad. Oh, actually draw one to potentially go to use. Meh. So what have I got as a two cost? How much is that new Jubilee? Three. And I buy another Hope Summers. Ooh. Field Hope Summers. And then I'd get to draw a die from my bag. Suss it out. That's <laughs> not an X Man. That goes into my use. No. Nice. I'm guessing it goes into the transit because it's not been swapped and it's my turn. That's what we did before. Then I fire off Power Almighty. Spin that up to the 0 2 2 face. Prep the die. Ooh, nice. Look at that bag reset in action. I know, right? It only took about eight minutes of thinking to get that sorted. <laughs> and then what have you got? You've got some nasty stuff coming out already. No, I've got four sidekicks in my bag, mate. It's going to be a pretty uneventful turn next turn. Uh, oh, pop her out. Oof. I'll throw a sidekick in for it. Oh, wait a minute. What's her defense? Two. No, I don't want you refilling it. I'll pop a sidekick in front of her. Okay, okay. 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 Four out the bag and the one in prep. What about this? All wrong. I haven't bought that yawn in Portland at all. <laughs> portal. Indeed. So let's buy a yawn in Portal. Build the sidekick. Uh, in fact, I'm going to buy two yawn in Portals. Priority in turn. Thank you. Right. What have we got left in here? There are five in here. One, two, three, four. Oh, I'll put Ice Man left on his own. That'd be good, won't it? If you. Yeah. 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 We should go into. Um. Oh, these two. Okay. Well, I suppose it makes sense to spend three to buy the Jubilee. Field the sidekick. Field Kitty, not Kitty, tried Hope Summers. Draw our life for each of your different active x wing catch dice. You draw prep area, all other than you, so he goes into prep. And then Jopper doesn't take any damage at all, does he? Uh, while he's blocking. While he's blocking. Uh, I'll put my two sidekicks off in front of them. That will not knock out either of them. <laughs> Over to your big old bag reset. One, two, three, four. Oh, of course. For God's sake, stupid dice. Of course, they both come out at the same time. Oh, my days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, well, catch it. Catch it. Bin it. 
kill it. Go disinfect your nasal holes now. Oh, wipe it, spread it. Otherwise known as your nostrils. Oh, both of them. And a sidekick. Yeah, so they stack, don't they? That's the that's the the lovely thing about them. So I'll fire the two yawning portals off. Steal that sidekick. And therefore I can buy my Durnum for two. However, he's going to cost me a fortune to field next turn. Um, and there's five in the bag. Because I wanted one now and one later. But, of course, that's just, you know. The way that's that the breaks. Yeah. Uh, and that'll do. Over to you. You don't. Right. Eight going in. One, two, three, four. Oof. I want you. Uh, keep the energy. Keep the sidekick. Just reroll. Jubilee. Cool. Nicely done. So, bend the bolt to fill the ice map. Fill the sidekick. Fill the Jubilee. Deal two damage to target character die or opponent. I think it'd be be wrong not to do it onto you, so two damage to you. Okie doke. There we go. Pass priority. Uh, pass it back. Can't do anything with that mask. So we've got uh, one, two, Two one and a two two. Uh, oof. Don't like all this refilled in the last gate. Uh, I blocked Jubilee with the sidekick. Oh, God damn it. Um, what are the stats on your hopes two two? Uh, one two and a two two. Well, I'll, I'll block it. It doesn't matter. They can't KO either. So, all yours get KO'd. Oh, dear horses. Oh, oh dear horses. Oh, you've got shenanigans, have you? Uh, read us Jopper. What does he say? Prevent all damage to Jopper while he is blocking. Okay, look. Well, I will then... I'll do Power Fist. Deal two damage to target blocking character. And get rid of your hitch. And then this little dice. All right, then. Cheeky shenanigans. Have a bit of cheeky shenanigans. One, two, three, four. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Oh, for God's sakes. I ain't happy about it. No, no, no. <laughs> Nor should I be. Uh, I'll pay one to field the hitch. And I'll pay one, two to buy a Vajra. Uh, and I will pay three. For a Tashlin Yafira. Or do I want a Janina? No, I'll go for the Yafiri. And that is priority and turn to you. Well, thank you, sir. I have four in the bag. As the bag management goes, and these three. Oh, I've got that. I will keep that because there's no X Men in my bag. Although, there could be. So let's keep that. 
two, three, four, five. You may need to pay for Jubilee. So let's roll her. No, we don't. Perfect. In it. So let's spend the five on Cyclops. Field hope for free. So I draw a die for each of your different active X Men characters, which is. Would you, yeah, do you want Jubilee out first? Yes, I do. Let's fill Jubilee first and do you two damage. Then I filled hope. Yeah. So I can put these three in my bag, put them out again. Go, ooh, that goes there. That goes there. And I fire off Power Almighty to spin him up to three, six. That up to zero two two and that up to the one three three and prep three dice so i could have just done that anyway couldn't i there's three psychics there <laughs> but hey ho um i pass priority to you pass back i think i'll weigh these guys down the field at you again yeah okay Uh, I'll block Jubilee with Hitch, and I'll block um, Hope with Jocko. Hope's gone, Jubilee stays. Okay. Over to you. One in the bag. Big old bag reset. Let's have something lovely. Come on. Right. Right. Going in portal, that all works for me. Oh, still that's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's nine in the bag still. <laughs> <laughs> oh my days! Come on, come on! All right, we're all these two. No, no, wrong port. It just goes fuck itself. Um. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I think of you, you only ball. So I need to pay some fielding costs here, don't I? Da -da 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 -da. I'll pay one to field hitch. That'll let me field Vadra for three. For three, sorry, not three. Um, She gets me experience when the burst spaces are rolled. So let's buy a shocking grasp. That's going to go nowhere. Priority in turn. It'll take me a while to churn through this bag. All right. So five in. Yeah, let me just do the camera. There we go. Five in and four out. I kind of want that one, Paul. I want that one. We are the psychic. Spend the six on the big girl. No. Nope. Field that and spend the six on the big girl. There it is.
midfield hope for free to rummage in my bag and pull out four dice. There's only two to pull out. Nice. Have a look. That goes there, but unfortunately that does go there. Pass. Priority to you. I will pass it back. Four, four, two, three, four, seven. Ooh, the Alza. Uh, four, four on Jubilee, is it? Yeah, Cyclops giving it the buff. Yeah. I'm going to block her with uh, Vadra. I'll block Iceman with Jopper. And uh, what's Hope? Sorry? Uh, two, three. Two, three. I'll block her with Hitch. And then in the global window, I'm going to use the shield global to give my Vadra plus one defense. Nice. So Jubilee comes back, gets knocked out. Now there's um, Jopper. He's got three attack. He doesn't take any damage. Yeah. So that means that Iceman can't damage him, so he can still attack or block. Oh, lovely. I'm not expecting him to be alive next time you attack. <laughs> With <the> Rachel <laughs> Summers loaded in the chamber there. All right, here we go. I need to work out how to, how to kill one of these bastards off. Yeah. Ooh, there's Vernon. Durham doesn't roll. He didn't roll the other night down at Element Games either. Come on, big man. Case in point. All right, well, at the end of my roll and reroll step, I've rolled a burst face. That's exciting, isn't it? What happens there? I get to add an experience token to another adventurer. Ooh, who are you going to put it on? Uh, I'm going to put it on Hitch. Oh, nice. Nice. Fire off your own portal for no useful effect at all. <laughs> well, they go in your bag, don't they? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, there you go. There is a benefit to it. I really, really wanted him. I need him. So he makes all my other dudes just get mahoosive. Uh, I'm going to buy a. Tashlin, your theory for three into the bag. Keep that question mark. Pass priority. Pass back. End turn. Cool. Right, nothing in the bag. This little lot goes in. One, two, three. Well, these two. Oh. Oh. Lost hope. Oh. <laughs> Don't lose hope. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, if I was playing my fetid bloke drone team right now, it'd make a right mess of them sidekicks. It would. But I'm not. So it isn't. Thank God for that. <laughs> Maybe whilst I look at this dice, you could tell the lovely listeners about all the other things that we do. I can't hear you. Oh, I say, whilst I look for hope <laughs> in this dark and squalid <laughs> times, maybe you could tell the listeners what other things we do. Well, uh, yeah, okay. So you can visit BritRoller6.com, which is our website and blog page, where you'll find articles, tournament reports, team lists, etc., etc. In there, loads of exciting and fun stuff. You can also check out some of the other series on this very YouTube channel. You're watching a gameplay video now, but we also do 
having a brew, which talks about cards, combos, team brew ideas, formats, anything to do with making teams, really. Or, and now for something completely different. And you can check out the Ministry of Dice podcast every fortnight on a Monday. Cool. Good filler. I needed that. Right. So I've found her and I've rolled up. Okay. So, so first things first. Spend three nope. on uh, Deadpool. On Deadpool? That wasn't what I was expecting. I will spend the one to field the Rachel Summers. I filled the Hope Summers. There's one, two, three, four, five. So I get to pull out one, two, three, four. That's everything. Put them in my prep. Nice. They are my use. Not really getting to use that flipping power on Mikey because he keeps going into you. <laughs> um, I'll pass priority to you. Uh, pass back. Three, three, and a four, four. Three, three, and a four, four. And a Rachel Summers in the mix. I'll block Jubilee. She's the four, four, isn't she? Yeah. With my Joppa. And I will block Hope with my Vadra. <sighs> Don't really want you. Using your jubilee to kill your own hopes now, do I? No. Although, at some certain point, you'll just overwhelm me with that little force you've got gathering. Ooh, there's a Tashlin Yafiri. That's exciting. Yeah, I rolled a character, man. Check it out. Look, I rolled a character. <laughs> Woo! Uh, that's pretty good. So she gets plus one, plus one for each active adventurer. So she gets plus three, plus three right now. Nice. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah, I thought so. Um... She can feel for free. I'll keep the sidekick. kit. Therefore, I am. Go X Men. They have a phrase, the X Men. Uh, no, not like a. You mean like an Avengers Assemble? Or... Yeah. Yeah, no, I don't think they do. They go down, down, down. They've got the yeah the the cartoon theme song was always very popular, wasn't it? Dun, 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 dun. Classic. Uh, field the sidekick. Field Tashleen. Tashaleen! She's a risk for me now, though, with that Rachel Summers out. And then I'm going to... Because I like the Hitch has already got a plus one, plus one counter on him. I'm going to buy another Hitch. Over to you. Okay, okay. I can't really see... I can't really do anything. I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> I've got no way of getting rid of your stuff to get my stuff through. One, two, three, four. Hey, you came up for me. I bought that shocking grass three turns ago. It's going to come back round. <laughs> Ooh, I want you. I want that you. Roll that and that. Oh, I spent so long waiting for you. He's good though, he came up for free. So, let's field. Let's buy. <laughs> let's buy Jubilee, because we need another one. 
and we filled that ball for free. Then we spend that to field Hope Summers. So I get to draw one, two, three, four, five, six dice. So one, two, three, go. There's an X Men. There's two pre what's it? Pass priority to you. Pass back. Who that then? Hope. Beast. Hope. Uh, not beast. Deadpool. So, um, let's do it in order. So these are two twos made three threes. That's a two five made a three six. And that's a three three made a four four. Right. So Deadpool's all big and overcrushy, isn't he, right now? Well, he's, he, if you block him, he gets plus three attack and overcrush. Yeah, that's fine. I'll block him with Jocker. Okay. Get up. I'll put my sidekick up in front of Jubilee. Okie doke. <laughs> What's the defense on the hopes? Three, they're three, are they? Three, three, yeah. I'll block one of them with Vadra. And let one go through. Okie doke. So take three. Yeah. And then he comes back, he comes back, she comes back. Ooh, neatly avoided. Yeah, for now. Oh, that's on the camera. Two out the bag. Three, four. Yeah, that's a bit boring. Another big old sack of crap again. Don't be Tashleen, though, which is nice. That's nice. That's very nice. So I'll field Tashleen for free. The pitch is out. I'll pay three for a human warlock. Keep the question mark. <laughs> Pass priority and turn. I don't want to attack with my big Tashleens because you get bloody Rachel Summers. All right. Nothing in the bag. This little lot goes in. Ooh, I want that one. I want that one. I may need two energy to fill Jubilee, so let's roll her again. Ooh, just punch my mic. I did need two energy to fill Ooh. her. Well, you need one, don't you? Because um, doesn't Cyclops... No, just to purchase. Oh. oh, do you know the Batman I was mentioning last time, uh, last game we played? Um, he's fielding, not purchase costs. Yeah. What's left in here? Three. So I'm going to spend these two. Field Jubilee, she is going to do two damage to your chopper. Oh, right, okay. That wasn't what I was expecting. I know. I was all going to be about like, don't you want to power almighty and spin your Rachel up first? <laughs> and a field hope for free, which means I get to draw lots of dice out of my bag. Put them in my use pile. Actually, I don't want to do that, do I? I want to fire off Power Almighty first. Yeah, because Hope Summers, when she draws it, it goes to my use pile, that will go into transition. That means I can't do anything. So I'll do Power Almighty first, which means I can prep three for the sidekicks. Spin that up. Spin that up. 
spin that up. Spin that up. Spin that up. Spin that up. That's on the floor, there's no more dice. Um, then I filled her, there's nothing to pull out or do anything with. Pass priority to you. Uh, pass back. They're both five fours. That's a four eight. That's a three three. Yeah, so uh three three, a five four, a five four, and a four eight. Uh what does Deadpool become if I block him? Uh plus three attack and overcrush. So it becomes seven nine. Is that right? Uh seven eight with overcrush. Seven eight. Uh I'll block him with one of my Tashleens. They're currently uh, she's currently 5-5. Five, five. Then... Let's block one of your Jubilees with my Tashleen. Oh, let's block... Jubilee with a Hitch. Let's block Hope with a Vadrup. And in the Global Window, I'll give that Tashleen plus one defence. Cool. So he's, what is he, three, four, seven, and she's what defense? Three, four, five, six. So you take one from Deadpool. He comes back. Jubilee is five, four. She's uh, five, five. So that'll be code. Mm hmm. Hitch is four, four. That's going to be KO'd. Badger's 2 4. She won't be KO'd. Well, everybody but Rachel Summers gets KO'd now, don't they? And now, everyone gets KO'd. <laughs> <laughs> I can't keep, like, I just thought I'll trigger it and try and come back. <laughs> <laughs> I keep doing these, like, janky blocks to, to avoid killing them. I'm like, oh, no, I'll just, just get it done. I'm just going to get it done. Let's get it done. I've got all the, the fucking X-Men in there. Yeah. Wow. Well. Right, here we go. One. Rubbish. Two. All right. Oh, nice. Three. Oh, Durnham. That's oh. good. Four. Ah. Could have done with the yawning portal then. There's only two of them in the bag, you know. Right, here we go. This Durnham is starting to do my head in. A lot. <laughs> Doing it, mate. This is getting ridiculous. Come on now. You're not being a lad. Yeah. He's there. Oh gosh, actually, I didn't think about his fielding cost. That was a that got a bit close then. All right, two to field Durnham. Oh, I can't field the hit. <laughs> <laughs> that all went horribly wrong. God damn it. Ugh. Right, I'll field these three. So that's uh, two experience tokens on the Tashleen and one on the Jopper. And I'm going to do one damage with my shocking grasp to Rachel Summers. Cool. <laughs> that all went very wrong then. I messed that up epically. Over to you. 
Okay. Uh, well, uh, hang on. Two, three, four, five, six. These are both six, six. Oh, you're on 20, though, aren't you? I'll just leave myself wide open for the shaft in next turn. Uh, go on, you're going. <laughs> cool. So I take one damage. No way. Bagburn. Bagburn. <laughs> yes. I'll scoop out all of this and see what happens. Where's my human warlock? Oh, over there. Oops, that gets re rolled. There we go. What have we got? Iceman. Jubilee. Hope. You. 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 What, what life are you on? Uh, 12. It's, do it's definitely doable. Should be. Do that. 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 Might need one for that pool. Possibly two for Jubilee. Let's scoop up these boys. Give these another up. So, field the two two hope summer field the jubilee that'll draw two dice from your bag won't it do the whole thing with the thing there's nothing left all right that's it so then I'll fill Jubilee. I'll do two damage to Hope Summers to KO her, which will then KO the Jubilee and everything you have. There it is. Then one for Cyclops, one for that Jubilee, that sidekick. Look at all these question marks. You should have had that brain thing out. Yeah, that would be sweet. For Iceman, nothing for Deadpool. Two for Jubilee, and then fire off Power Almighty to spin that up. That's what you need to do. Up. I'm going to anyway. Okie dokie. Spin that up. Spin that up. Spin that up. Um, and then eight. Fourteen. 18, 20, 21, 22, 23, 26. Well, there it is. This guy. This guy. The knob. Yeah. Not rolling. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that gameplay video. Certainly, I think that Chris was hampered by Burnham. Um, dun -um, dun -um, dun -um. No, well, no, he, um, yeah, maybe a little bit. If if it had come out that very first turn I bought him, then I'd have been slamming them experience tokens on. Yeah. Uh, but I was a bit loath. Uh, I couldn't attack. I didn't feel very comfortable attacking because once you got rage yeah, blasted everyone. Um, and then I bought that yawning portal too late. I think it's. I don't think I need it, but then I need something to fire off the spark. So. There's something in it. Something can be done with it. I think if I uh, yeah, cool. open up a couple of slots outside of Troubling Water Deep, you know, I've obviously restricted myself here. Um, but if he'd have been out, he'd have been adding every time I fielded one of them, they'd just get an extra experience token right off the bat. You know? And in, yeah. the, in the long game of that, your cheeky killings and my joppers and you know, all that sort of stuff would have been affected. So there's, there's maybe something. I don't know. Yeah. I think the jopper definitely is the uh, standout. From that mm. team, that's really good. With his cheeky little Santa beard. Yeah, yeah, he's ready to deliver some children some presents. And Tashleen, she got big quick. Yeah, she did, but only because there's so many other adventurers. But in a golden context, I was thinking like um, with Durnham and Vadra doing their kind of adding. Although the spark didn't go off very often either, did it really? No. 
but in a golden context with a resurrection and a human paladin and a protection bard, all adventurers themselves, you know what I mean? Yeah. It could be a could be. pretty yeah. wicked kind of golden team. Yeah, really nice. I mean, with this team, it worked pretty well. The Jubilee is definitely the better option, so I can try and kill something off and fire off that Rachel Summers. Yeah, um, I think I might I like get your pride better than Hope. Yeah, it's just that the, the key pride is draw one dice, and if it's an X-Men, roll it and place it in your use pile. Whereas Hope Summers, as soon as you've got like a few X-Men out, she's then drawing three, four dice, and then they're getting prepped. Yeah. Um, so definitely pluses to both of them. Mm. Um, Cyclops is cool. That Iceman gave that a go. Didn't really do much because your Joppa was keeping him at bay. Yeah. Uh, but I can imagine that as a blocker, he could be quite annoying again. Um, against a God Catcher, it's going to slow it down because it's going to do some damage to it and stop it from attacking next turn, well, blocking the following turn. Uh, and that Deadpool was pretty decent, but I always thought it was. It's just a shame that his attack stats are so pants. Uh, yeah. Nonetheless, fun. What do you guys think? What would you put on either of our teams? Have you got a uh, adventurer up your sleeve that would do uh, some work in this team and make it uh, sing a little sweeter? Uh, is there an X-Man that... Uh, is it X-Man? Well... An X Men member, X, maybe X person, yeah. In this in this generation, in this day and age, yeah. Uh, is there is there something that you would see put in to uh, to kind of give it a hand? Do I think? Do you think I need Power Almighty, Hope Summers, and Kitty Pride uh, all doing a very similar job, or is there other areas that I could expand towards? Uh, do let us know in the comments. Do leave a comment, please. Even do. if you know it's just to say hi, that's fine. Um, don't know why we're still talking because you've already turned off about 20 minutes ago. So uh, <laughs> enjoy and see you on the next one. Yeah, take it easy, folks.